Where do heat waves come from? To find out, I'm on a stakeout tonight. I got a tip from this guy I know that another one may be on its way very soon. The Earth is at its apogee from the Sun right now, the furthest point in its elliptical orbit, and just as luminosity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance to an astral body, you would think that we would all be totally freezing right now, but we're not. At all. That's because the change in distance is insignificant relative to the tilt of the Earth as it spins. It's like if you went to a friend's beautiful house right on Central Park, a duplex. You have very, very fancy friends, but the apartment was tilted at 23 degrees. You wouldn't notice how swank the joint was. You would notice how all those emblems of opulence look like they were pretty luxurious before they slid off to the pile in the corner of other broken things. Because of the tilt of the Earth, the northern hemisphere is exposed to less sunlight in winter, more in summer, which overrides any proximity to the sun itself. This also has a cumulative effect, which is why it gets so miserable towards the end of the winter and summer, closer to the equinox than to the solstice, when you'd think things would be balancing out. That's what scientists say, based on some ideas that Copernicus and Galileo had. But as Edward G. Robinson said in Double Indemnity, this little man inside me thinks otherwise. On a hunch, I've been surveilling this warehouse on the Sunset Industrial Park waterfront. I'm pretty sure the next heat wave is going to come off a trawler from Alcapoco, right here, along with about 200 kilos of cocaine, which is why those undercover cops are sitting in the car right in front of us. I say we let the low-level traffickers go and lead us to the Sun Kingpin, the upper-level disturbance that is about to flood our streets with 90-degree equatorial gold. Once again, August has a history of trying to smuggle misery into our city in the form of Hazy Jane, Hot Rocks, and Vitamin Humid. But if I wait here long enough, August will make a mistake, and I'll be here to catch it. If what my informant tells me is right, the next heat wave should start just before dawn on Friday and last right through until Tuesday. So Friday, we're looking at a high of about 88, low of 72, and scattered thunderstorms here and there. Saturday, high of 90, low of 72, partly cloudy. Saturday, that's Saturday. Sunday, uh, high of 90, low of 72, perfectly sunny. Monday, again, 90 and 72, partly cloudy. Somebody from out of the past sent me a wire from London today suggesting that this covert network of meteorological operatives might be coming to Europe. Well, this weekend in London, it's going to be bloody near perfect with highs in the low 70s and even a little chilly at night, which is nice if you are, say, an American werewolf over there. And in Boston, if you're going to the Boston Poetry Barbecue this weekend, you can expect highs in the mid-80s, even after a rainy Friday, nothing but sun for Saturday and Sunday both. Some of you may be speculating that I'm sleeping in my car because of some trouble at home or to save money on air conditioning but I really am just investigating this suspicious warehouse, which may be filled with hot goods, but definitely will be good and hot this weekend. That's it for now. Remember to set your clocks back this weekend. Farewell.